This tech tip is focused on EdgeCam stock color. I'm going to begin by opening a solid model and immediately we'll go to the fit stock command and use this to add a stock blank to the workpiece. Notice that the fit stock command does not have a color to be used for the stock, but the stock does have a color, green in this case. Now, the stock color is not important in the context of NC code, but it may be important for user preference and it is helpful in simulation if the stock color is a color that the tool colors, which we assign when we build toolpath, show up well against. And my opinion, green's not the best color. Mm -hmm. Now, how can we fix that? Well, I could right click over the stock item that's in the setup window, edit the stock, and go to the color palette and choose a different color. And easily done. The stock has changed. Now, that only affects the stock in this current part, which will be great. But the next part I do, I likely have to make the same change. So, what we want to show next is a way to set a stock color that will stay assigned. Think of it as a preference. So we'll undo the stock creation and we're going to go to the geometry drop down menu or list and choose the stock and fixtures command. Now, this command is a command that we used to use regularly in our older interface before we had the newer stock and fixture command. So if some of you haven't noticed the command before, no worries. But this command has a color palette where we can load our color preference. So I'm going to choose the color preference that I want, and it not only sets it for the stock I'm making, but is retained, and future parts and future stock that I work with will have the color that I prefer, no matter which stock command I use. Let's test that out. I'm going to dump that file and go reload it. It doesn't matter. It's the same file. It could be any file. And then I'm going to go create stock using one of the many methods available to me, in this case, the fit stock command. After entering the desired value, stock's created and it is retained as the color that I selected in the stock and fixture command. So a great tip to load the stock preference that you have, assign it through this command, and it will be retained for future parts that you create. I want to move over to a finished part now and look at one other aspect of stock color. When we go to simulator, we can see that simulator uses the stock color that is assigned in edge cam. Might be easier if we turn off the enclosure. Now there's nothing wrong with that. Again, the edge cam color is preloaded as the color for simulator, but simulator has options which you can get to from a right click or the gear and wrench icon. When you go into the options, there is a stock color option where you can put in an override using the color palette or any unique color you wish for the stock. So if I choose this color, for example, and press OK, the stock will be that color in simulator for this part and any others I load, no matter what the color assigned in EdgeCam is. So you might want to choose a color that, again, is a good color for your toolpath to show up against. And whether it's probe motion or toolpath, the stock is given a unique, specific color. Hopefully this tech tip gives you some ideas on how to edit stock color, assign your own preferences in EdgeCam or in Simulator. For this or other questions, feel free to get in touch with us. We'd love to hear from you.